good ideas for I guess back to school or even summer or whatever occasion you want because these include breakfast, snacks, lunch, and dinner. I talked really fast. But make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new here and uh, like the, uh, and uh, and uh, and also follow me on my social media if you haven't yet if you wanna. And that is about it. Let's get started. Hey guys, so for this first food idea is these frozen yogurt pops and they are so easy to make and they taste exactly like froyo because it's literally frozen yogurt. So I cut a hole in my yogurt and I just put my straw, I mean not straw, um, spoon in there. You can also use a popsicle stick, that will work too. Then I just freeze them overnight, run them under hot water the next morning and they are literally so delicious. So yeah, try them out and yeah. The next thing we're going to be making are these onigiri aka rice balls and yeah they taste amazing so all you're going to need is rice and I love rice just mold them into little triangles and then I got some seaweed these are like the sushi seaweed so I just cut them into little rectangles and then just put them under my rice balls and yeah they were ready to eat and make sure you add some salt and pepper otherwise it would literally taste like seaweed plus rice. The third recipe is this hearty oatmeal and it's just oatmeal with fruits but it tastes really good with the peanut butter oh my gosh I made this this morning as well it's so good so I just made some oatmeal and then I just added peanut butter and these are the crunchy ones with the nuts in there in them in the bag whatever it's so yummy and I put a lot which is kind of bad but like whatever so yeah and then just put all my fruits and layered them and it tastes so good like oh so good for the recipe is this omelette rice and it's literally amazing like I'm not even lying like I will eat this every day of my life if I can so I'm just using ketchup to like give the rice a flavor I know it's kind of nasty like this I know it doesn't look the most pleasant but if you don't like it you can just use regular rice or even fried rice like whatever you want then I cracked three eggs and I added some salt and pepper for flavor then I just poured in my egg mixture to make like the omelette part of this recipe and yeah it's really easy when your egg is almost done cooking, you can go ahead and put in your rice. You want to fold them over so they would become an omelette rice. And this is another like Japanese inspired recipe. And this is like my first time making this recipe, but it tastes really good. So I added some cheese and I got the jalapeno flavored cheese. Like it tastes so good. And then I put some ketchup and salsa and omnican. It's so good. You guys should definitely try this out. I'm not even just saying this because it's in my video, but it's actually so good. I don't know what I'm saying right now, but just just try it out. This is just a snack idea, but I put two pieces of American cheese on two parchment paper, then I put it into microwave for, I think, two minutes. Then when it's done, just cut them up, or I mean, they just kind of melted together, and yeah, but I just cut them up, and you just want to eat it. Yeah, it was so good. It was super crunchy, and oh my god, it smells really good. It's time for the super juicy tomato cup. Yeah. All I did was cut my tomato in, I think, half. And then I took out the center portion, which is like what we don't need. But we can use that later for another recipe. So I cracked my egg into my tomato cup. And you can honestly just use whatever um, ingredients you want. I just like eggs. Then I put some salsa, cheese, corn, anything I liked into it. And I put it into the oven at 350 degrees for like 10 to 15 minutes. When you take it out of the oven, it's really juicy because the tomato still has its liquid and oh so good next recipe is very similar it's the same thing except you're using potato instead and it has a lot of carbs and i did kind of fail on this one but it's okay it's okay and i cut this potato the wrong way which i'll fix later on you're not supposed to cut it like vertically cut it like horizontally so it'll be a cup then yeah this is where the failing comes on because i put my toppings and it didn't hold up like that well so it just fell apart which was very depressing and i put it in the microwave instead of the oven because i was like you know what i can't put this in the oven but if you do it right it will be better we don't talk anymore. 
like okay so the tomato and potato we have left over from like the center when you carved it out can be used to make a salad so i just used some ingredients that i liked you can use whatever then i made the potato salad with mayo that's the secret ingredient the japanese like mayo the yellow bottle with the red cap oh my god with like the baby face on it it's so good like it's much better than american mayo in my opinion then i put it into a tupperware because it's perfect for school and you can just bring it and yeah i put both of them and i put a little bit of salsa because salsa is the love of my life like it's so good this one is very unhealthy but i wouldn't recommend eating this like all the time but it's ramen you want to separate the water and the noodles and then you want to put in your flavors and the egg and you want to put in cheese then you can put it into the microwave for like two minutes and oh my god it is a bomb the tenth one i actually tried it for the first time i didn't really like it at first but then i was like hmm simmer simmer it's pretty good so this is a chia seed pudding recipe and i just kind of just winged it i mean i put chia seeds and milk then you just mix it up and you want to make it like overnight like put it in the fridge overnight so it will be like a lot softer or you can put in some ice cubes or fruits or whatever. The seeds will combine with the milk perfectly, like it's a pudding. Oh. Okay, can you come closer <laughs> for me? What? <laughs> Chia seeds. I'm gonna move over. Move over. Look at me. Um, ew, don't do that. I'm I got nothing. Her. Look, it's an iPhone style. Good? Wait, is it good? 